here we go on the move I'm not sure how close this mic needs to be to my face probably about here looks good I think Working by the little sound bar maybe maybe eh whatever good enough Alrighty, so journal. What all should I be tracking? I don't know who the fuck that is. Whatever. Oh boy, here we go. Local map. Can't scroll past my vision. Huh. Alright, well, I think I know where Valentine is anyway. Detective. Well. Fuck you, kid. The hub of trade for all Diamond City right here. Alright. Here we go. Main quest time. Your luck wouldn't last forever. His ties. Oh, Nick. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... He's gone missing. Don't worry. I can help. Tell me what happened. Nick was working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there that they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please hurry. There we go. Mm, yeah. Kind of weird that you can just take those rare magazines like that. Take it. All right, Doug. Let's get the fuck out of here before she's onto us. Uh, yeah, she doesn't seem to give a fuck. All right, time to go kill Baloney's thugs or whatever the fuck his name was. Or I could do all the other local. Local quest type shit. Well, not all of it, obviously, but. See Abbott at the. What the fuck is wrong with this goddamn map? It's so bad. Um. I'm gonna go talk to the newspaper people real quick. If you're hungry. Oh, what the fuck? What are you doing there?
Yeah, holding up. Look, I'm just gonna say it. You're a vault dweller. You might not be wearing the blue jumpsuit, but the pip boy and that fish out of water look, dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what, I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. Uh, okay. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? Uh, my family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes, I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god, the man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth. Diamond City, how does it compare to your old life? <laughs> You're standing there with your jaw hanging out. Say something. Can you even compare the two? The world out here? It's not even close to the one I left. Feeling a little homesick, are we? Can't say I blame you. Now, the big question. You came all this way looking for someone. Who is it? My son, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. It's probably more than a year old. As heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Maybe later. Nah, fuck it. I'll see what she's like. Piper. Heading my way? Sure. Let's go. Will do. Go to Sanctuary, bud. Oh, sorry, boy. Time for you to head home. Hey. What can I do? Take a look. even have a weapon? And I'm not seeing one. I'll give her opportunity. Pretty nice little short shotty. And I know the NPCs like to get in close. Fucking stupid. Give her glasses. I think she'll look good with glasses. Oh yeah, I was right. Looking real good. 
Sneak with me, baby. Can I steal from your house? Oh, it's not stealing anymore. He's just giving it away. It's in your fucking house, don't ask me. I already saw this one. Reader complaints file. In your most recent edition, your paper failed to acknowledge in any way the contribution of the mighty wall in the defense of our town against the last month's super mutant attacks. To find this extremely offensive, we will not be purchasing another copy until the disrespect is publicly corrected. We honor the efforts of all those involved in the defense of our great city, from our valiant guards to the mighty wall. Dear whack job, two members of the Diamond City security died defending this town. Pepper was just trying to drum up fears about sins to increase sales. You should be ashamed of yourself. Thank you for your concern, and Pepper makes significant efforts to ensure all the stories are accurate and free from editor editorializing. Thank you for your concern. I hope you get snatched. Ah, oh, there was one more thing in there. Perspective archive. Torn between two loves. On one hand, I have my profession. Every moment I spend with the young and up-and-comers who, for whom I work with, brings such joy. On the other hand, I have my coworker, wise, patient, debonair, may suggest that I am not lively enough for him. Maybe I can picture life with no other. I long to confess my feelings to him, but my life is my work. Trying to add a relationship would simply shortchange anyone. What I ch must choose, public, but who? Love is rare, too. Doubly so. Make it work. Pair. You work in the same building for shuck's sake. Oh my gosh, I do not want to read these. Sorry. I'll be nice, though. If you want to read them, feel free to pause and read them. Whoops. And inside, there's... junk. Two doors. Same place. Right next to each other. Big, loud, full of corrupt officials and brown nosing citizens. Selling papers is busy work, home. mister. Hey, Nat. Public is here to pull the wool out from under your eyes. Okay. There's my power armor. Wait. Yeah, this is my power armor. I could have sworn I left it all the way over there, though. No, never mind. I remember. Jugged it up here and parked it right in front of the office. Now then. I just one there was another mission here. Talk to the Bobrov brothers. I don't know who the fuck that is. I'm gonna be wearing my power armor for this conversation. We need to talk. Are you a Bobrov brother? The problem is that I've learned that you killed my son, Nelson. Is this true? Uh... I didn't kill Nelson. Whoever told you that was lying. I've known Morosky a long time, and he wouldn't lie about this. To Gonna reload that one. Oh god damn it, it's back here. I know I have a more recent save. Right there. Big, loud, full of corrupt officials and brown nosing citizens. Read the paper, Mr. Rossi. Hi. You there. We need Hi. To <laughs> what seems to be the 
problem. The Whoa. problem is that I Whoa, what am I doing? Killed my son Nelson. Is this true? What makes you think I killed him? Morosky says so. One of his guys saw you do it. Murdered him in cold blood. I dare you to deny it to my face. Did you do it? I don't like this guy. I'm not sure. I don't always get the names of everyone I kill. My son's death is a joke to you? you? Son of a bitch. We'll see who has the last laugh. <clears throat> I have nothing else to say to you. Okay. Yeah, I'll be having the last laugh, by the way. You watch your step. My eye. Alright, what else do I have to do in town? The abbot at the wall. What? Do you want up on the bed? Come on, Dory. Has really long load times, which is really weird. Much longer than The Witcher's, even. Where is this person? Yeah, what are they inside? Abbott. Maybe they're just inside right here. I don't know. Oh shit, it's legendary. 
It just transformed. This is an alpha, I guess. animals. Alright, whatever. Fuck finding this person for now. That's the Museum of Witchcraft. Where is... Okay, maybe not fuck that guy for now. There's two quests inside Diamond City. Check it out. Whenever I walk through Diamond City, there are so many things people tell me to be grateful for. Purified water, working lights, electricity, security. True. What, we, what would have been unthinkable even a few decades ago, but it's easy to forget that, even after all the progress we've made, we are still living in the shadow of the world that was. Well, before the threat of radiation, before the super mutant and the feral ghoul and the synth. So... F for, as fortune often has it, I cross paths with Blaze Glory, Vault Dweller, a person who's experiencing Commonwealth for the first time. What would his fresh set of eyes say about how far we've come? Is Diamond City the great green jewel we've always claimed it to be? Before we begin to answer that question, we have to know who Blaze Glory is, where he comes from. To my surprise, he did not have much to say about his life in the vault at all, because he spent all that time staring at a piece of frozen glass every day for over two centuries. That's right, Blaze Glory isn't just a Vault Dweller, he's an original Vault Dweller. He spent his entire time on the inside cryogenically suspended. So what does Blaze Glory have to say about seeing Diamond City for the first time? Can you compare the two? The world out here is not even close to the one I left. Well, we like to think of our city as a shining jewel. It's worth remembering that not everyone comes here by choice. Sometimes people are forced from the comforts of their homes, and as the largest settlement in the Commonwealth, this is where they end up. Most are just looking for refuge, but sometimes they come here desperately looking for something or someone. You see, Blaze Glory has a son. Sean, even though they were in the relative safety of the vault, someone broke in and took Sean from his parent. And that parent is now risking everything, wandering through this strange and unfriendly world of ours in order to save Sean from his kidnappers. We all know the rumors and whispers that surround every missing person in Diamond City. The guilty looks we pass to mourning family members as we thank the wall that this time it wasn't us. You can end up dead in the Commonwealth for a million reasons. Why spend our time worrying about kidnappings? Why, indeed. It's easy for us to be cynical about the missing. We have spent no so long knowing the Institute is out there, but knowing so little about them. They are not the only ones responsible for kidnappings, but the fact that they sometimes are, and the fact that we have been so powerless to stop them when they do, causes us to treat all victims of kidnappings as if they are a lost cause. But the people left behind, those loved ones, friends, and neighbors, who may never see the faces of those taken from them again, they do not have the luxury of being able to look, just look away. They have to carry that loss with them. Even if everyone else tells him to move on, forget. I asked Blaze Glories to make Blaze Glory to make a statement to Diamond City to give them an outsider's perspective on what it means to lose a loved one and how he feels. Maybe in some ways it's how we should all feel. Maybe we've forgotten the right human response to these tragedies are. No matter how much you want to give up, don't. He said, "You have to have hope that you'll see them again, or at least that you'll know the truth." Nice. Hey. Just let me know. Piper. Cap for your thoughts. Your thoughts? Never thought a reporter could consider themselves a success until someone threatened their life. Me? I'm very successful. Is everything okay between us? I suppose things are alright. Just feels like we could be doing more for folks out here, you know? That's all for now. Alright. If you can enter a relationship with her. You're 200 years old? Looking pretty good for your age, huh? 
You're getting pretty chummy with that reporter, huh? Be careful then. The mayor's got it in for her. Hey. No thanks. Don't let down the home team. Buy a squatter. Uh, what was they here for? Right. Going to the wall. You read that article? Here we are. I was on the other side of the wall looking for you. Why are you painting this one spot repeatedly? Don't worry, I won't. It's okay, Abbott. I got my eye on this one. Good. The wall keeps out the bad guys, so I appreciate you not messing her up none. Thinking you need a little education. Maybe a bit of community service. Is this the guy that needs what the green say? random paint? Happy to help out. You see this paint I'm using? Oh. Only one place left in the How whole fortuitous. I've been here. there. Hardware town. Rune store close by to the west. Bring back a can of paint and it'll be a hundred. I think I made like four. Pocket. How's that sound? Actually, I already have some paint right here. Well, ain't that the end all be all? Why don't you go ahead and put a little of that paint on the wall? See what I got to work with. Oh. Working hard. Mm, that's a good shade of green. The wall sure seems happy with it. You think that's enough paint to last you? Should be enough for a good coat or two. That'll have to do for now. There's your payment. And a little bonus for getting the right shade of green. Don't do anything with it I wouldn't do. I'm glad we did this. The wall is important to a lot of people here, Blue. Abbott. Means a lot to this city. You helping keep the wall pristine. Okay. Neat! That was easy. Hey, you're that vault dweller. From the paper. <coughs> yeah, what's up? Look, Scabber, I ain't buying anything. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking typical Bethesda. <laughs> they can't maintain a conversation ever. What? Quick save, because I don't trust these people that I'm meeting. I don't trust anyone. City of Radio. It's terrible, yes? Uh, it makes I've you want to cut your own ears off. Yeah, it's pretty bad. This is what I tell you, Pete. Something must be done. Radio so is bad now. for business. Makes customers unhappy. Either we have unhappy customers listening to bad DJ, or we have no music and customers have boredom. But Tim... It's true! Don't listen to my brother. Someone needs to get of him. We need a new DJ oh, for the radio. I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. I guess that'll be one way to handle it. It would be quick and probably mostly painless. You just first leave him out of town. I can't right. believe you're even That's enough. This. But him isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. Seemed pretty serious to me. No, no, no. He, he was only kidding. Right, Vadim? <laughs> it, it's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I. Uh, I don't want Piper to dislike what I said. All right. I've, uh, I've got Tell some more news. Diamond City of Radio. It's terrible, yes? It makes you want to cut your own ears off. Yeah, it's pretty bad. This is what I tell you, Pim. Something must be done. Radio is bad for business. Makes customers either be... But it's true. Someone needs... I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. 
That's a horrible idea. I tell you, it would be easier than you think. You just have to talk to... You just have to talk him into following you out of town. Honestly, oh, Vadim, what enough. the hell has gotten into you? Vadim isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. Okay, what's really going on here? <laughs> Sorry, we was just joking around a bit. <laughs> well, Travis, <laughs> he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job, or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. Well, that can always be turned around. Exactly. This is what I'm telling you, Fim. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. Why me? This is weird. The wall sure looking good like Guess Abbott found some more money. Is this a back room? Or is there a secret? Nope. Is this just okay. it? Okay, let us get down to brass tacks. <laughs> I am glad you are willing to come. Unlike my deadbeat brother, Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. I'd be happy to help. Okay, so Travis needs to believe in himself, yes? Believe he is capable of more. You know what works well for this? <laughs> a bar fight. Ever been in one? I can hold my own, if that's what you mean. This one's a pretty tough cookie. Exactly what I mean. I want you to back up Travis in his first fight. I want to stage fight here in Dugga. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? How do I make it look Come real? Uh... I'm on board. When do we start? Why not soon as possible? I have contacts. People I can count on. Real tough looking. But they will take a die for money. They confront Travis here at Dugout. You step in and give him who she needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough. And Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? Yeah, it's too late today for me to arrange. You come back tomorrow evening after 6 o'clock and everything will be ready. I'm sure Mr. Valentine can wait for me to fuck around with this shit. <laughs> I need to get ordering some food here pretty soon. Maybe some pizza. So I just noticed a little bit ago that I'm recording at a lower quality. I'm not really sure how it's going to turn out. Yeah. I tweaked. It's using my stream quality, which I tweaked yesterday. So hopefully it looks better than it did before. Um, I guess let me get out of my suit. Sit next to this guy. And then stare at him for 22 hours. Wait, no, I need to do more than 24 hours, huh? Yeah? Wait, don't leave. <laughs> One T, three hours. What? 
Oh, he's back. <laughs> Being weird about it. Hey, I'll be right back. Mind if I ask you a quick question? Uh... Tell me, are you worried about the possible infiltration of Diamond City's ruling elite by Sims? Yeah, my yeah, but cares I about ain't. you, but I ain't buying your lousy newspaper. Oh, uh, well, thanks, <sighs> I guess. How the fuck do I put my weapons away? I don't particularly want to shoot these guys in a fist fight. I know how to put my weapon away, but I don't know how to de-equip it. Do I need to, like, have nothing as a hotkey or something? No, I can't do that. I can unequip it that way, I guess. Alright. What? What? What's this about? Maybe I don't like your little radio program. What you have to say about that? Jesus, bird! I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no, I killed. What's this I killed. About? <laughs> oh, what's wrong? He is dead. Not though. so tough once you're <laughs> Now let me know air. when you're ready to work. Uh, Henry won't let me in the tap house. Hey, okay. what's your problem? So dream? here I am. Looks like you're having a disagreement. Look at the smart guy we got here. Piper. If you really were smart, you'd take a hike right about now. Now get the hell out of here. Hey there, pal. Oh, it's you. Oh god, I don't know what the fuck to say. This is a weird little quest. You need to grow a spine, pal. I, I didn't ask for this. I'm just trying to have a drink. I don't... I have no idea what I did to deserve this. I just wish they'd go away. Why not stand up to them? No. I mean, no. That would be bad. With these men, it could, well, it, it, it could turn violent. Don't you want this to stop? Yes, but... Don't worry. I've got your back. Well, if you think it would work... We're right behind you. I don't know what Saul did, but Henry hi. won't even let me in his bar Again. anymore. Uh, hi? Hi. Well... Okay, that's... well, that's enough. Oh, I'm sorry. You say something. I said... I said that's enough. Leave me alone. <laughs> Look at you. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Oh, nah, I don't think so. I... I mean it. Leave me alone! <laughs> Sounds like you were thinking about saying, or else. Were you, Travis? Were you gonna say, Beat it, or pal. else? I'm wondering what comes after that. What you gonna do, little I'll man? I'll shake him. Uh, I'll beat you up! Big mistake, Travis. I want it so I'm much I'm gonna more destroy you and your friend here. Security. Who the fuck are you? Get out of here. God, my jaw. <laughs> bullshit, man. Just bullshit. Travis. Whoa. <laughs> I don't think that was supposed to 
happened? <laughs> Piper just unloaded on him. Won't let me in the tap house anymore. So here I am. Getting lost. That was awesome. <laughs> Piper just shoots him. Oh man, that was good. Whatever you want, I ain't got time. Good. I don't give a fuck. The fuck is Vadim or whatever? Used to Diamond City security being unhelpful. Just ignore him like I do. Tell me if you need a room. Otherwise, the bar is over there. Maybe later. All right. The fuck is your brother? The outside? Don't let my husband drag you into any nonsense. I'm just gonna turn all these main quests on. Fuck it, I'll just turn all the quests on. Why the hell not? Okay. Whoa. You have marvelous bone structure. Uh -huh. the mega surgery sometime. <laughs> I think that went well. If you say so. <laughs> Ready for the next part of foolproof plan? Bring it on. Good attitude. It's nice and easy. You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Now, I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at her. And I see that sometimes she looks at him. If someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis, it might do him some good. I could have a chat with her. <laughs> yes, I know. This is why I'm telling you. <laughs> this Just fucking guy. Just do whatever it takes to get her to agree to see Travis, and this will all be worth it. And you and I never talked about this, all right? <laughs> The fuck is she? Should stop by Fallon's basement. Open during the day. Whatever it is, lead me out of it. Still on my quest? Yeah. Where the hell is she? Who did this? Hmm. You're trying to give me a heart attack? Who did this? There ain't nothing here. What the fuck? Really? You guys? This is what that old man sent after me? I'm fucking scared. the other one run off too. Hey buddy! Check this out real quick. Crit! Oh, you lived? <laughs> Wonder how you managed to hire them. I need you to... Call I'm calling out a hit on this guy. He's the one in the fucking power armor. <laughs> Smooth. Hey. Shoot. Piper. You know, you look like you could really use this. These things have literally saved my life. What? 
Nothing else for now. Okay. So, I, I would take a wild guess that uh, Scarlet's probably sleeping right now. Oh, sit down with these fools. And then have a good wait. Clean up those bodies. Responsible for that new coat of nope. Looks nice. What the fuck is she doing here? Scarlet. I'm on a break right now. Yeah, no shit. You're really far away from where you work. Save. I'm on a break right now. Actually, I'd like to talk to you about Travis, if you have a moment. Travis? Really? Did he... Did he mention me? Uh, I heard about the fight. Travis was... Well, he was brave. Absolutely. You should really pay him a visit. You think? I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Maybe... No. No, I couldn't just go over there. Look, Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him. And I think he likes you. Just go talk to him. Okay, I will. Yeah. I'll go see him now. Thanks. That's why I leveled Charisma before everything else. Because I'm... Playing Cupid. Or whatever, I don't know. So, do I go back to What's-His-Face now? Yep. <laughs> Squeeze on in here. Uh. This is terrible. Oh, I, knew. I knew it. It was up to no good, and look what's happened now. What? I've got to help. I can't do it. You've got to help me. Take it easy. It'll be all right. Just tell me what happened. They took him. They took Vadim. Th those men, th the ones that messed with Travis, they came back. Said Vadim owed them money, that they had a deal. He, he wouldn't pay. They. And they grabbed them and said that they would make him pay. And then they just dragged him out. Oh, good. I was something. planning on killing Please them anyway. Can do something. I'll bring him back, Yefim. Count on it. Please, just bring him back. He's an idiot, but he's my brother. I'd go with you, but someone has to stay here. Someone has to stay and manage the bar while my brother's Maybe kidnapped. They took him. <laughs> Travis is going to be a legit hero when we're done here. You're bothering. Excuse me. Nice pet boy. Thanks. Excuse me. How'd it go, anyway? Hey, Scarlet. I'm on a break right now. <laughs> Fine. Be boring. Hey there. What's going on? I 
need your help. Vadim's been kidnapped by Bull. That's not funny. I'm not joking around, Travis. This is serious. I really do need your help. Wait. Really? Oh. Oh, man. Wow. Is this... This is because of what happened, isn't it? It's... It's my fault. Travis, this is between Vadim and those men. It's not your fault. But if I hadn't gotten into that fight with them, maybe this wouldn't have happened. Don't do that to yourself. All we can do now is figure out how to make this right. Look, I don't, I don't really... I mean... I don't have a lot of friends. If Vadim is missing, or in trouble, or whatever, then I'm gonna help get him back. All right. I'd welcome the help. Good. I didn't... I didn't want to have to argue about it with you. I've heard enough to know they're probably holed up at the old Beantown Brewery. We gotta go in there, show them we mean business, and... and then we can bring Vadim back, and everything will be okay. Right? Yeah. I'll, I'll get a gun, and I'll meet you there. We'll settle this. So, uh, the fuck is it? Hello. Yep. Pretty much entirely. More so than usual. What a, what a battery dies. <sighs> no, I think the battery's just really dead, not just low. <laughs> I don't know, I meant I mentioned it to my dad, and I think we talked about battery maybe having issues before. Oh my gosh, now there are too many quest markers, and there's no indicator which ones are close. Such a crappy little system. Come on, Bethesda. I'm coming for you, Vadim. I will end this. Oh wow, that gun's empty. This gun has a ton of ammo. And is beastly. I want an endless clip version of a, a revolver. That would be the most overpowered shit. Gotta find one. That looks really weird, like it's from Borderlands or something. What the fuck is the front door? Well, there's a door, but... I guess I should probably go find what's-his-face. Oh, there he is. There's a toaster in there. Oh, God. You're here. So this is it. Odds are, if they've got Vadim, he's inside. We're... We're gonna be okay, Are you right? shitting me? Look at me. Definitely. We'll be fine. Okay. Okay. Good. I mean, I can do this. Totally. Any, uh... Any last-minute advice? I've never done anything like this. Stay calm. Don't go crazy in there. Right. Calm. I can do calm. Calm, 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 calm. Okay. Can we just get in there before I totally lose my nerve? I'll try to do most everything for him. <laughs> kind of scared that he can die in this mission. I haven't tried to talk him out of it because I'm trying to boost his confidence. Alright, party has been started.
fuck are they? There or zigzagging a lot. Whatever. What's that for? Be here. Beer, 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 beer. The real reason I came here. Gratuitous amounts of beer. How do you find anything in here? My fucking eyes, you blind wench! Just kidding. I like Piper, actually. She's pretty cool. What the fuck? Did he just... <laughs> Nothing. What's up? himself. Tower Tom's with him. You know what? I feel like this is a special occasion. Oh my god! That annihilated him. <laughs> I can't believe I even made it in that window. That was a good shot. Fucking amazing. Oh. Vadim's in here. <laughs> oh man, he's okay. He's good. It's all good. Hey. Thank you. I didn't know if anyone would come. I thought perhaps this is the end. Uh, thank you. Thank you. You are true friend. Damn fucking right. Hold on, let me just do this real quick. Oop. Crew's getting restless. Restless. Still got plenty of beer, but food's getting low. Sent Sparta and her crew out of Batful. Bad TFL. B A D T F L. Uh, whatever. See if they can find something, but the folks are going to start deserting if we don't turn up something edible soon. Calista's reserved to the federal stockpile, but it seems Lily and Red Tur Tourette's parents never thought those bitches to share. Taught those bitches. Gonna have to make a move if we don't hear from Sparta soon. Fucked up bad. We tried to storm the stockpile, but Lily, Red, and our crew were dug out, dug in like ticks. Wiped out half our men before we could bolt, drag, and hook. Managed to grab a couple of hostages. Maybe we can trade them for a couple snack cakes. At least we got fewer mouths to feed. Jackpot! Lily! It's fucking Lily! I recognize that bitch anywhere. Dreg brought the hostages from the raid up to my room in second I saw her and knew we were saved. Now Red will have to deal with us unless she prefers getting her sister back in pieces. Never seen so much food. When I told her we had her sister, Red thought I was a piece of Red, though? I think that's supposed to be thought. Red thought I was full of shit, but one letter from little sis cleared the things up real quick. Now the crates are pouring in and so are the recruits. At this rate, we're about to make a move on Corvega or DB Tech before the year's out. How the fuck did she get loose? I chained that bitch up to the fucking floor. Was still half asleep when she came at me. I thought I was aiming at her leg. Now there's blood fucking everywhere. I gotta clean this up. Do something with the body. Can't get this out. Red's not gonna give a sh shit if she finds out her sister's dead. Rumor the fat caravan train drifted in today. Whole crew went to hit it, except it never showed because it didn't exist. While everyone was out, I stashed Lily's body in one of the vats. I think she even improved the flavor. That's one problem solved. But the gang's dead in the water unless food keeps coming in. That means Lily's letter have to keep going out. I'm going to need to find some more pens. Somebody took out Jared. As much as I hated that chem-hungry bastard, he was no pushover. We're going to need more guns. Okay. Is that it? Yep. Just a bunch of logs. Elevator. I don't really know where that goes. Oh, 
Wait a minute. I bet that guy wants to be freed or something. Give me that box. Empty, huh? Strange. The yellow ones are almost never empty. Oh. Piper just warped downstairs. That was real weird looking. Hey. Thank you. I didn't. Uh -huh. uh, thank you. This was best they could do. You got them. <laughs> These idiots had caps and cams just lying around. Oh my god, the team's a fucking they, moron. They did not notice when I filled my pockets. You deserve what I took. Ah, and Travis, I am surprised to see you here. <laughs> hey, Vadim. I'm glad you're safe. How did you get roped into this? I, I wasn't forced or anything. I wanted to help. <laughs> you are full of surprises, my friend. Excuse me. Man, what a day, huh? Hey, listen. I wanted to say thanks. This has been... Well, it's been crazy. But I've learned a lot, I think. <laughs> I'm tired of your shitty whiny attitude. <laughs> Thanks. Pretty well? I barely recognize you, Travis. After all this, Ooh. Hello? I think about the things that had me worried so much, and it just seems silly, you know? Like, was I really that worried about just being on the radio? That's nothing compared to being beaten up, shot at. I can do so much more. And I need to. Anyway, thanks again. I owe you. The lighting sure is strange here. I don't know why the floor is reflecting up at him so hard. No problem, Travis. Your guardian angel is away. Smells good. Oh, oh. that just goes right upstairs, I bet. Yeah. It's a lazy little elevator. Check this door. First mistake, last mistake. What the fuck are you people still doing here? Did you not hear all this shit downstairs? Okay. Oblivious dumbasses. What in the fuck is going on? 
Bet they're just spamming the bot I installed on Bus Chad. Yep. Full-year capital spending is an estimated increase over the previous year thanks to budget tightening and lowering the quality control on the product, including the increase in water to wart ratio. Brand management also announced marketing push of Bunker Hill Brew lowered income markets, which we all know spent a larger percentage of disposable income on beer and melted beverages. Malted. Gross margins are speculated to increase well into 2078. Alrighty. And down we go. Sweet time getting the fuck out of here, aren't you? Alright, I got stuff all kind of on the path to Valentine. What do you quests? It's a weird perk. Come on, game, load a little bit faster. <sighs> uh, now then, what direction am I going? So turn left and go straight. I guess so, uh, yeah, that one place I was looking at before is now my destination. Wow, that is a tall building, and it looks like you can go inside. At least judging by the lights on and the openings. Huh. I wonder. These are mean, I guess. Are they? Oh, they're showing up as red still. Ooh, leveled up! One level away from new gun nut. What about science? Can I do another level of science? Yes, I can. That sounds like a good plan. Right, better than the scavenger. Are you? Yep, you are definitely hostile. Also really wimpy. It's a weak little robot. So, you wanna fight too?
god. Here we go again. Another full building to explore. Hopefully small. But it's... Oh. Well, I don't know if this was the enormous one or not. And it doesn't look like I can get too far in this place hey, anyway. Something's out there. What? Found them and they do not look friendly. Um, okay. You got him. That's like it. Good. Looks like a bandit central, but I'm not, you know, seeing any. Uh. Jesus, there's a lot of stuff to do in this city. Did I get another waypoint for this one too? Yes, I did. Say. The fuck is this? Oh, that's that huge building. Oh my god. That's... Is that Trinity Plaza? Is that the place where I'm supposed to be clearing out of super mutants? Oh my lord. Looks like a job for my machine gun. Might as well finish this building or something. Oh my god, this is another place! Jesus Christ! Fuck it, I'm going to the one that I have a quest for. Come on down! Show him what he's won!
Okay. If they cannot kill one puny human, they are less than nothing. Okay. Oh, hello. I sure is talking. I'm gonna save and drop down here. I'm uh downstairs. <laughs> Piper, you're kind of dumb, I guess. That's it. grenades upstairs. Sugar bombs. Read Captain Cosmos to Cuttering inside. Explosive great taste. Just the horrible mutant dog biting my ass. Don't mind that. upstairs. Can't do all power armor? I must have tried to sit in a chair or something.
yes. You sure know your way around a bobby pin. Yeah. Random. Alright, I guess that's it up that little area. Uh. Pistol rounds, like they use those. <laughs> Oops. Sweet. A noise? Warp with me, Piper. Any time now, Piper. Come on. There you are. What the fuck? Camera angle just switched weirdly. That should be good enough for now. Hello! No, I'm just being thorough. I'll get to you, don't worry. Scared of you. Ugh, me. You disappear! No fair! Fucking, this game's sound engine, I have no idea where those sounds are coming from. Go! 
He must be above me, but he sounds like he's like right here. Everyone gets a grenade. A super mu- oh shit, that's fist. Oh god, that's a machine gun that I did not want to see. Alright, you got health, I'll give you that. He was the only one here that really earned the name Super Mutant. I guess by comparison, he should have been like an Ultra Mutant. Shit, is he a companion? Your human is attacking the tower. The super mutant too? Yes, him too. Oh, he's harmless. Well, actually, he's far from harmless, but he won't hurt us. Trust me. Strong will not hurt human if human rescues strong and wrecks. See? Why is the super mutant caged? He defied his leader by standing up for me. See, I've given him a new purpose in life. I came here to teach these poor, ignorant creatures culture. I started with Macbeth. I guess they found it funny. All of them except Strong here. Strong learned secret to human power from Macbeth. <laughs> Milk of human kindness. Strong will find milk. Strong will drink milk. Strong will have secret power of humans. Yes, yes, of course he will. When they grew tired of taunting me, they threw me in this cage. I want him. Little did they know, there was a radio in here. They know. You begged to catch more humans. What? Why didn't you tell me? Strong thought you know. See what I have to work with? I've promised Strong to help him find the milk of human kindness if we get out of here. I'll let you out. Hurry. Always on good behavior. That's it. He knows the best way down by this cursed tower. It's probably that. What? Is that strong? God damn it. I'm retarded. Sorry about that, bud. A little bit of friendly fire. As friendly as I could make it. I got a tooltip looking at the guy through him, so. 
fuck did he go? Oh, there they are. Give me a second, I'm not done looting. <gasps> Perfect. Nice. That's it. So that Bye, Piper. Hey, head over there. I don't think I can get to it. <laughs> oh shit, caps! No! I shall lift our spirits by voting from the bard. Good night. Piper, hey Piper, where where uh, where are you? She's somewhere fighting. Hey, strong. Go away, leader. Strong, find you. I'll wear your guts around my neck. Get unequipped. Oh, wow, what the fuck? What is that? He's like legendary. Gun never needed to loot it. How's it going? Chip two. Ah! And smash you dead. Now this is the bottom. Thanks for that timely rescue. I think I've earned a reward. Ah, yes, the mercenary, a classic character. Underappreciated in most productions. Yes, well, <clears throat> in any event, I'm quite grateful. I'd like you to have this. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think it's time I left this awful place. I'm returning to WRVR and resuming my career in radio. Okay. Ooh. Reginald suit?
three charisma on that thing. Wow. The war's strong. He apparently can be my ally now. There's Piper. I guess I still need to clear the rest of the super mutants out of here. Somehow. I don't know how to get to some of those places they were at. Or where the hell Strong went. Oh. Got a second, big guy? Go find milk of human kindness with Strong. Yes, I'll honor my promise. Good. Strong travel with human. Human help Strong find milk of human kindness. Strong learned secret of humans. Jeez. You mutants are not much prettier up close. Strong say same about little lady. Sanctuary capped? Oh man. Send her to uh Covet or Grey Garden. Because it's uh interesting. Hey. Yes. I have a lot of equipment for a super mutant. Shogun body armor sucks, actually. Light's 12. Why is heavy armor worse than light armor? Howl armor? What does that look like? Is it different from this cowl armor? It. One of them is weightless for some reason? What the fuck, man? Cage helmet? Bladed helmet. You know what? You gotta have. Actually, no, I'm not gonna give you all of it. Just want him to have one of everything. You no? Know? Wrist traps. Whoops. Oh no. Good. Alright, let's see here. Sledgehammer, too. The fuck is that? <laughs> oh, that doesn't look light at all. What the fuck?
sure. Human. Oh, that sledgehammer looks hilarious. I think I maybe not. Strong to I think it looks like a fucking pussy little weapon on him. Maybe that. That's something. Oh, that's a little better. Cool. Um, so I do need to still kill the people here. How do I go about doing that? Oh, what the fuck? get those guys that were in those one little rooms. I wonder why I couldn't send Piper there. See them? I get to him. Someone there. Our oh, ears play tricks on me again.
Maybe I'll use the, uh, one of my special occasion weapons for, uh, that other one, because it was super strong on that one floor. I'll use good old democracy. Why the ground looks like weird marble. Or why the elevators act so strange. I'm not actually in the open world, it's just enough of the stuff that's rendered to distract me from the background. Very clearly turns into like cardboard cutouts. one was. Yeah. No! <laughs> Alright, I gotta go up one more time. somewhere. Can I just, like, get in there? Uh, what the fuck do I do in here? I guess I jump down or something? Or, oh, I can jump up a little bit. Come on, get in there. I'm trying, man. I've been shooting the wrong guy the whole time. Again. I think I gotta stop bringing him with me. <laughs> I'm never gonna recognize him. Sorry, bud. Is this weird ass place with like limited accessibility? Hmm. How do I get up there then? This door doesn't open. Platforming in Skyrim led me to this. Is 
still need up another floor though, because there's a fucking like legendary dude up there. I can get on that somehow. Better save before I do anything here. Yep. Power suit to get higher? Is that something I can do? Oh fuck yeah. Genius. I'll have to get over there though. Come on. Yeah. 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 Alrighty, now I just have to use weird physics to scoot around that corner. Yeah, you didn't actually have shit. Alrighty, well, that's it for this place. Levitating, don't mind me. This video is encroaching on two hours. I should probably wrap this one up and maybe save, uh... Strong disliked that? Me getting into power armor? I guess he doesn't like that. Yoink! Is this place fucking done? How will I know? Can't fucking find anymore. <sighs> I just want this quest to be done. Guess up I go again. I'll do one more run through and see if I can get anybody's attention. I need to go repair my, my suit's arms. here on this floor. those caps maybe more mutants will spawn here if I leave and come back because technically these mu these other mutants were part of a quest where they were holding that guy hostage or something I don't know
I wonder. Wow. Sweet. Um, alright. I guess I'm just gonna leave that place then. I don't really want you with me. Hey, tell Strong what to do. Hey, yo, yes, Strong. Human. More talk. You can go now. Mm, good idea. <laughs> you can go Strong now. need break from human. Strong go back to tower. Take nap. Or you could hang out at the drive. I just discovered this place? I've been here for a while. Maybe there are more super mutants around the place? Weird that I just discovered it. Oh, Trinity Plaza. Fuck, I'm stupid. That's Trinity Tower. I need to clear out Trinity Plaza. God damn it. What is this? Trinity Church? Okay. may have limited ammo, but this just looks too perfect. Wow. I missed. <laughs> Awful. Awful shot. And you know what, there's somebody extra on the side anyway, so maybe just fuck it. I don't need all those fucking burnt books, what was I doing? go. Oh my god, these fucking health bars. Shooting that hole. Why does he have so much ammo? 
Jesus. Got it. Loot everything. Ooh. here. I mean, I guess it is a ruin. Save! Is that the area I'm in again? of the mutants. <laughs> nice. Get the fuck out of here. Jesus. My gun's invisible. Alrighty. 
I'm gonna go back to the fucking Diamond City now. I didn't friggin' make it to uh, either the Combat Zone or Nick Valentine. But, I got a lot done. And I think that's where I'm gonna end this video. I'm gonna get lunch, probably play more later. So, uh, thanks for watching.